So, here's what happened. Tom made a successful invention, finally. But everything went wrong. Now everyone thinks it's his fault, and every friend Tom used to have is, uh, on my side. Uh, poor Tom. Hey, on with the show! <laughs> I used to think sunglasses were about style and sun protection, but now I know they're about letting me see a virtual world. Oh, I can even feel the forest mud in between my toes. <laughs> Great job, Ben. It looks like our fun glasses are gonna be a real hit. They were your brilliant idea, Roy. I just made them a reality. A virtual reality. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> the partnership is already better than the old one with What's his name? Yeah, TV thinks so too. Look. The helping hand horror is behind us. Thanks to Roy and his new tech company, Roy and Ben Enterprises. Thanks, Craig. But I'd rather call it Ben and Roy Enterprises. Put Ben first. Uh... And it turns out he's humble as well. People like us, yeah, but I say let's make them love us by throwing a big party for the fun glasses launch. Yeah! yeah! I love our Hey, you okay? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little sad about what happened with Tom. Yeah, well, he was a big part of your life. I guess I could invite him to the party if you think that... Uh... No, he betrayed us, and I have to forget about him. Like, I'm sure he's already forgotten about us. This couldn't possibly get any... <laughs> Whoever you are, you better watch out. I'm willing to try Kung Fu! <laughs> there will be no Kung and Fu fight today. <gasps> Landlord? Sorry about the bag, head, Tom. We thought you wouldn't meet with us if we just asked nicely. Why are you... Wait. Who is we? Uh, no. Hello? Aha! Tom. Oh, no. Come on, haven't I suffered enough? We need your help. What? You see, something has to be done about Roy. Wait, you also think he's up to evil secret bad guy things? No, but we're used to clashing with whoever leads the garage group, and we preferred clashing with you. Roy is too clever. He convinced me to cut the rent in half. Why did I do that? He put our science lab out of business. Now how will we mock our competitors? <sighs> he told the school board I was too tough on my students. Now I have to give them positive yeah. reinforcement. <laughs> huh. Well, I'm really more worried about the secret evil bad guy things, but I am on board with getting rid of Roy, and I know exactly what we need to do. Roy seems perfect but he's hiding something in a secret room under his house. If we can break into that room and expose whatever is in it, we can take him down. But the room is locked with a high-tech eyeball scanner that only Roy can use. So we need to fool that scanner. But we'd have to do it when no one would notice people sneaking around Roy's house. That could be tricky. Normally, yeah. But I happen to know about a party I wasn't invited to, and it's a perfect opportunity. Wow, the whole town is here celebrating our fun glasses. Who'd miss a chance to party with the new top team of tech? Time to tango. We need a photo of Roy's eye, so we need to get those glasses off of him as soon as possible. I'm on my way. Roy, you simply must try these top <laughs> 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 Trapped and utterly soiled your pretty head. Let me get that. 
Ah! The glasses are gone. Repeat, glasses are gone. Landlord, Vanthrax, you're up. Roy, I was just saying how positive reinforcement has really improved my teaching. I absolutely no, need I a picture need of us to hang in my class to remind me of your great advice. Say cheddar! <laughs> Photos in one eyeball coming up. Adjusting for the Coriolis effect and fire! Nice work, team. I'm going in. You know, I always knew charity was important. Hello, what? everybody. <gasps> Remember me? I bet you all still hate me, but that doesn't matter right now because I'm in Roy's house and I'm about to open his secret door. Let's see who Roy really is. <laughs> Hello, Roy. Now watch this. Please enter surprise password now. Uh, what? I'm so sorry about this, everybody. A sick weirdo's broken into my home, and I need to get him the help he needs. In the meantime, how about some tunes? <laughs> Tom, 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 did you really think I didn't know you'd try to crash my party? <laughs> Nothing to say? I'd be speechless too if I were about to be sent to prison. Huh? I'll lock this door up, then I'll lock you up. Let me just enter my secret code. Huh? Huh? What the heck? Whoa! Huh? Wait, these aren't my sunglasses. These are fun glasses. Aloha. We switched those with your normal glasses when you took them off. You never went into your house. It was very realistic virtual reality. Why would you do this? Oh, just to trick you into giving Tom your secret code. No biggie. Stop, huh? Hands off the student. What are you doing? Let's find out. Hey! Gotcha! I'll teach you not to... Whoa! Oh, Roy. It's all the things that have mysteriously disappeared from town. What? My stolen silverware! Tom, you were right the whole time. Roy really is a thief. Not just a thief, a liar! These are plans for sabotaging the helping hands. Roy frames Tom! And this says he wanted to use the fun glasses to distract the whole town while he stole even more! <laughs> okay, everyone. I know this looks bad, but soon it won't. After I destroy the evidence and escape! <laughs> <laughs> Sick of this dumpy town anyway! Ready. Self-destruct initiated. So long, loser! Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no! We can't get blown up right after I finally proved I was right! We'll never be able to run out of here before it's too late! Stay there, we don't have to run! Just let me try!
Sorry we doubted you. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. Can you ever forgive us? Of course I can. <sighs> I missed you all so much. <laughs> now let's go home. Wow, do I need a shower? <gasps> Ooh, you really do. <laughs> ah! What is happening? Ah! Ah! with the creepy knock and the costume. This is my uniform for the Spirit of Halloween decorating contest. I'm the official kid judge, a role I take very seriously. Come on, guys, nothing is jumping out of here. You better step it up if you want to turn this place into a haunted house of horrors. Oh, uh, we're not doing that this year. What? Don't you want the first prize orange ribbon? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but I've always thought that contest was kind of lame. <laughs> hm. Well, you've made your opinion on this clear. <gasps> I guess I'll go check Roy's decorations. Whoa, wait, Roy is in the contest? <laughs> <gasps> Hello, neighbors. <laughs> I hope you're decorating this year. Remember, even if you can't do a great job, you're still doing your part to make the neighborhood spooky. <clears throat> Bats and graves together? Ooh, he's taking a risk and it's paying off. Yeah, Roy's probably gonna win. He's the best at everything. Not so fast. We're doing this. Welcome to the Garage of Ghouls. Oh. You know, we were wrong about the contest. This was fun. Maybe it is how cool people Halloween. Indeed. Looks like a healthy rivalry between neighbors has pushed us to be our best. I agree. Ah! Nice work, guys. <laughs> Sorry to startle you. I whipped up a batch of haunted cookies in the spirit of friendly competition. Oh, nice. What do you want, Roy? To concede that the orange ribbon is ours? <laughs> Tom, you're so hey. funny. No, I wanted your opinion on this little thing I set up. Wow. Incredible. Oh, man, the judges are going to love that. Oh, I sure hope so. The cauldron is full of actual witch's brew. I'll give you the recipe after I win. If you win. Come on, everyone. We're taking this to the next level. Mm. <laughs> Tom? still beating us. Oh, uh, we can't be out of decorations. I found Valentine's hearts. If we hung these up, people might think they miss Valentine's Day. And then they'd be like, oh no, my loved ones will be so disappointed. That's a little scary, right? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know, Angela. 
That love stuff is the enemy of fear. No! Decorating progress check! Let's see what you got! Is Ginger in charge? Yeah, he's very passionate about this. Hmm. Nice use of lawn scares. Pumpkins are spooky. No spiders in the web, so there's a deduction. On a scale of one to ten gingers, you're at five gingers so far. Five gingers is good. Most houses couldn't get three. But you'll need to go bigger if you want to beat Roy. He's sitting comfortably at seven gingers. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say, that it was dumb to try and beat Roy. Not at all! Hmm? I was going to suggest a change in strategy. Behold, my newest invention, the Realizer! <gasps> it can make inanimate objects move. Observe! <laughs> huh? Yes! Whoa! <laughs> it's brilliant! I've never seen decorations do that. If we use that, our place is going to be way scarier than Roy's. And Halloween glory will be ours! <laughs> hey, Tomo, you had something to tell me? Gosh, I really hope you're not quitting. Competitions like this make both of us better. Oh, I'm not quitting. I'm giving you a chance to bow out gracefully. Bow out? <laughs> Why would I do that? Ha! Okay, that's a pretty good trick. Oh, it's not a trick. It's science. Ben brought our decorations to life, which means that we're the only house of horrors to feature actual horrors. Mm. Happy Halloween! Thank you for visiting the soon-to-be officially scariest place in town. So, what do you say? Do we win? Or do you have a bunch of monster pumpkins living at your place? No, I don't. I bet you even have a plan for what to do with these when Halloween is over. That's easy. We'll make them clean up the yard, then put themselves in storage for next year. And those poor pumpkins will just sit in storage? All year? Aw. Well, maybe not all of them. We might take a few and roast their seeds for a tasty snack. Or we can make a pumpkin pie. Ooh, there is nothing more satisfying than biting into a big old slice of pumpkin pie. Uh, Ben, the pumpkins can't understand us, right? They're just pumpkins, right? Well, the realizer theoretically would increase the intelligence of whatever it was used on. Ah, okay, looks like you all have a handle on this. I should head home to work on my not-alive decorations. No! Oh! The pumpkins have gone rotten! Everybody run! <laughs> the monsters have turned on their creator! Just like in the horror classic, The Ungrateful Monster! We need to barricade the door! I've got this! <laughs> Nice to see the two of you on the same side for once. We're not on the same side. Roy got jealous and made the pumpkins mad at us on purpose. How could I do that, Tom? I don't know how pumpkins think. Oh, yes, you do. Hold on! We can't start fighting each other. We're already fighting for our lives. I've seen a lot of spooky movies, okay? I know that if we just... <laughs> <laughs> Where do we retreat to once they break in here? Ben, tell me there's a go back to normal button on the realizer. No! An unrealizer would be a completely different invention! This is it! We're about to get carved by a bunch of pumpkins! We'll have to find something in here to defend ourselves with. What's in these boxes? Yeah. Uh, Valentine stuff? This won't help. Wait, maybe it will. What's the opposite of fear? Love. Ben, give me that realizer. In the name of 
of love. Let's go! problem with the decorations. <laughs> well, now you've got a bigger problem, because you're getting last place of all houses ever! Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I won! I'd like to thank my neighbors for really pushing me to be the spookiest neighbor there is. <gasps> well, Roy... You deserve to be loved. Mm. <laughs> huh? No! <laughs> Ronnie, soon this trophy will be ours. We're gonna win this super twosome science fair. Go team, Jinrod! <laughs> Class, I have an announcement. This year, the Super Tusum Science Fair will be sponsored by a local Super Tusum, Tom and Ben of Tom and Ben Enterprises. And they're awarding the team with the best grade, a trip to bug camp. A trophy and a fun-filled summer swimming with bees? We need this. We got this. Now, as for the twosomes, Rachel, you're partnered with Sherry. Drew F, you're with Drew H. And Ronnie, you're with... Derek. What? Aloha, teammate Ronnie. But, 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 but Miss Vanthrax, Ronnie's supposed to be my partner. No, Ginger, you're with... Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my best friends. Who are the best? Can one of you sign this and, and just write doctor next to your name? Sure, it's never a bad day to practice handwriting. Hang on, this says you broke your legs and can't go back to school until after the science fair? I'm no doctor, but those legs don't look broken. Ugh. Fine, detective. The truth is, I'm not hurt, but I can't go to school until the fair is over. Oh, I see what's happening here. Ginger, you don't have to drop out of the fair just because you know the judges. We will treat you and every other contestant the same. Ugh, it's not that. I have a world-shattering problem. My partner for the science fair is a girl. G and what's wrong with someone being a girl? I'm talking about a girl, girl. How am I even going to talk to her without barfing? Easy, just treat her like an equal. You may even have a lot in common. That's ridiculous. Everybody tell Angela to stop being ridiculous. Okay, I guess I'll just have to move to another planet. Before you skip the fair, you should know that this summer, bug campers will get to make friendship lanyards out of tie-dye worms. You really want to miss that? You really want to miss that? You really want to miss that? Agreed! But I refuse to make a doll! <laughs> 
is to eat so many marshmallows we puke and then record our findings. That's not science. That's stupid. <gasps> I've been working on an idea for a solar-powered toaster. No one in our class is going to be able to beat that. Well, I guess that's an okay idea. Fine. You're gluing that like a girl. I'm about to glue your mouth shut. Give it to me. That <laughs> glue needs a manly squeeze. Yes. Ah, you touched my hand. Your hand touched mine. Cooties! <laughs> I'm sorry, Ginger, but I have to keep a safe distance from you. I'm very cootie sensitive. Totally understandable. I'm just happy to chill with the dude again. At least a solar-powered toaster is a good idea for a project. How's it going? Uh, bad? Odd Tanya glued the sensor panel like a girl, which is wrong. And her girly fingers will probably mess up the conductor wires, too. Are those important? Obviously, Ronnie. Don't you know anything about solar toaster science? Uh, here, I'll show you how it works. Yes, that's Peace. it. Explain it all to Shut Team Daryl. <laughs> Hey, everybody, we are so excited for day one of the Super Twosome Science Fair. Teams will present their science projects all this week. Our first group today, by special request, is Darren and Ronnie. <coughs> Thank you, Miss Vanthrax. Team Daron is very excited to present a solar powered toaster. What? And then you just glue the center panel to the top of the toaster. We created it by gluing this sensor panel to the top of the toaster. Ah, they copied our idea! Ginger, don't interrupt Darren and Ronnie's A-plus presentation. A-plus? As in the grade? Indeed. Looks like we got ourselves some early frontrunners for bug camp. Agree. That appliance is going to toast the competition. Wonderful! Well, who wants some solar toast? <laughs> you have Ginger, we know you don't like your partner. That doesn't mean you can lie your way out of the fair. It's not a lie! And, and that's the truth! Oh, man! Oh. How could you do this to me? Darren said we were helping. You, you told us you couldn't build a solar-powered toaster with a girl. Fair. Ginger and Tanya, 
Do you have a project? Or should I mark you both with a zero minus? We do have a project, Miss Vanthrax. What could it be? Getting married? <laughs> <laughs> Fellow classmates, it's true. I'm a boy and Tanya's a girl. But we have one thing in common. We both hate liars. So we invented lie detector gum. <gasps> to show how it works, we need a trustworthy volunteer. Like Darren. Yeah, Darren should do it. Lie detector gum? No way that could even work. Now, now, Ronnie. I'll test the gum. After all, I have nothing to hide. <laughs> gum. Hey, Darren, did you steal the idea to make a solar-powered toaster? Ridiculous! The idea came to me in a dream. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 If someone is lying, the gum fuses their mouth shut for a hundred years. Does anyone else want to volunteer? <laughs> okay, I admit it. We stole Ginger and Tanya's idea. Me and Darren didn't know what to make. We just wanted to go to bug camp. I am extremely disappointed. Also, I'm slightly concerned about Darren. Is he going to be able to open his mouth again? Oh, he'll be fine. There's no such thing as lie detector gum. It's just super sticky prank gum. <gasps> Our real project is a solar-powered toaster! With a few improvements. Well, since it was your idea, I will allow it. You both get an A+. Plus. Which means you're the super twosum headed to bug camp! Yeah! 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 Yeah!